so I've been thinking back to when I had social media, when I had Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. Never had TikTok, but I was thinking back to when I had those apps. And by the way, I've been off of these apps since 2020, and I have not gone back since. And when I used to have these apps, first of all, it was a total waste of time. I was such a, I was such a time waster. I would just be on there scrolling for no reason, like comparing myself to others, seeing other people's perfect lives seeing the highlights of their lives, thinking, man, my life sucks, man, my life is shit. Now I gotta live up to those expectations, now I gotta find good pics to take for Instagram, for my Snapchat stories so I can look cool, so my friends will think I'm cool, so I can fit in. Now when I go experience a certain situation, now when I go to a, an event, I have to take a cool Instagram picture so people will like me more. It's a trap, it's a game, it's a fucking, you're a, you're a little rat on a hamster wheel. I finally realized, why am I so worried about other people's lives when I'm literally so unhappy myself? I realized, stop worrying about them, worry about you. So I deleted the apps. I said, fuck it, I'm done. I am so done. The other reason why I deleted them is because I liked the idea of being a mystery. I liked the idea of disappearing from the internet, literally, and then reinventing myself to become who I am today, which is what I've done over the last three years. It's like, sure, I was on Instagram and I had all these followers. I had probably like 1,200 followers, maybe maybe not even, maybe 1,000 followers. I just deleted it. I deleted my account. Didn't tell anybody, just fucking did it. And now I'm a mystery to a lot of people. They're like, oh, why is Matt Spear not on social media anymore? Like, who the fuck cares? I like being a mystery. I like the fact that now if they were to see me, damn, I'm a way better version of myself. This may sound like egotistical or whatever, but hey, I don't care. I don't care because first of all, let me tell you this. As soon as I deleted social media, there were no negatives. <laughs> Everything in my life got better. You will not find a single person who will tell you that when they deleted social media, their life got worse. It just doesn't happen. It's the same with video games. You will never, tell, you will never hear anyone tell you that they stopped playing video games and then their life suddenly got worse. You don't hear that shit. First thing that happened is I could finally fully focus on me. It's like I, I killed the FOMO inside me of like, oh, the fear of missing out, the fear of seeing people who are doing things that I'm not doing, I'm just at home in my bed jerking off. Like, I got rid of that fear. Who cares what other people are doing? I finally was able to cultivate some sense of just like being alone. I didn't mind being alone anymore because I was not scrolling and seeing other people all the time. I'm less worried about other people. I'm more worried about what the fuck I'm doing. What am I going to accomplish in this life? Not what other people are accomplishing. Who cares? There's a time and place for that. Right now, for you, chances are, maybe I'm not trying to get you to quit social media altogether, but like, hear me out, bro. You may want to for, for the time being. You don't have to go all out like me and delete your accounts, but you may want to quit and just delete the apps for now and see what happens. Do an experiment, do a month long experiment and you will experience some of the benefits that I'm going to continue sharing in this video. The no more FOMO is a huge benefit. I used to care so much about what other people were doing. I used to care so much about missing out on a certain event, missing out on a certain hangout with my friends. But now it's like, dude, I don't give a fuck. I, don't, I genuinely don't care what other people are doing. I have better shit to be doing by myself, <laughs> essentially. I love being me. And by the way, a common objection to deleting social media is, oh my, man, my friends are on social media. How am I gonna talk to my friends? You have a phone, right? You have a, you have a number, like an iMessage text message number. You can text them. That's like the dumbest freaking objection I've ever heard. My true friends, we text, we call, we make it work. Nobody cares that I deleted social media. Nobody cares. I care because it's benefited my life, but nobody gives a fuck, all right? Your fake friends, they'll care and they'll be like, oh, but Matt's not on Snapchat anymore, so now I can't talk to him. Dude, shut the fuck up. They weren't even your real friends anyway. Okay, more time, less procrastinating, I'm free from the addiction. Social media is a damn addiction, right? You can't go more than freaking three hours without checking it. That's how addictive it is. I'm free from that. I have way more time on my hands. My screen time is so freaking low because think about it, when you don't have these apps on your phone, what is, your, what is so attractive about your phone now? Not much. There's nothing on your phone other than maybe calling someone, texting someone. So yeah, it helps. Literally improves your mental health because you're not so freaking dialed into your phone all the time, scrolling and seeing ass and seeing girls and seeing booties and seeing guys with bigger biceps than you. You're not seeing any of that shit anymore. You're just focused on you. How can you better yourself? That's all you should be focused on. 
How can you improve by a little bit every single day? 1% every single day compared to who you were yesterday. Not compared to freaking the jacked dude on Instagram who has top tier genetics and who's probably on steroids. No, you compare yourself to you. So now you're more happy. I'm not seeing all this shit anymore. I don't see people's Snapchat stories. I don't see people's Instagram stories. I don't see any of it. And I'm so much happier for it. It's a drama free life. All the shit on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, it's a waste of time. Most of it is a waste of time. Most of it is a distraction to keep you stuck. To keep you going back to those apps. To keep you addicted. Like that little hamster on a wheel. I'm not trying to come on so strong and heavy in this video, but dude, it helped me. So I'm going to explain to you how it helped me. And yeah, I'm pretty fired up about it because it literally changed my life. The next thing I noticed is that I was no longer living for other people. I was no longer seeking so much validation. I didn't go places with the intent of, oh, I got to find a cool Instagram picture. I got to find a, a nice Snapchat video story so that people can think I'm cool and people can think I'm doing shit and people can like me. I stopped seeking that validation. It's so funny. I remember going to a Celtics game when I was a kid and... I happened to have courtside seats, all right? My friend at the time had free courtside seats and he invited me straight up. I went to a Celtics game and I sat courtside. How cool is that? Anyway, the main thing I was focused on was not the game. The main thing I was focused on was how can I take a cool Instagram picture so that people back home, so that my friends back home can think, oh my gosh, he is so cool. He sat courtside at a Celtics game. I didn't even fucking enjoy the game. The whole time I was thinking, how can I get a cool picture? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh. I'll actually pop the picture on screen right here that I posted on Instagram. Look how fucking crusty I look. It's just me in front of the court. All right. <laughs> Man, you stop living for other people. You stop seeking so much freaking validation. Dude, you are enough as is. You don't need validation from anybody else but yourself. All I know is it helped me. It changed me. Bettered my life completely. So if you enjoyed my story, leave a like comment below. At the same time, if you've watched this far, maybe consider deleting social media. For the time being, you can always go back to it. But it's been three and a half years and I still haven't gone back to it. With that said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.